The first room involves getting yourself out of tricky situations involving robots. Like so. <laughs> Just using the back swiping techniques as well as manipulation techniques using obstacles shown in the first level. If you choose to go this route, you will get more roach puzzles. And the solution to this level does not involve much combat and manipulation, but simply striking the orb twice so that you stand on an obstacle the roaches cannot get to. <laughs> the other passageway introduces you to a new monster called an Evil Eye, which stays stationary most of the time, but acts exactly like a roach when you step directly in their line of sight. Mm. The next room introduces you to the vision token, which lets you actually see what the line of sight is, which will be useful in puzzles that involve them, as you will see later. Mm. This room, if you choose to do it first instead of going at the crossroads north and west, is basically a be careful how you do the order of the evil eye sort of thing. Mm. Mm. It is helpful to know for this particular room, and in the future, you can click on Doors and pressure plates to see what they are affected by. So, as you can see, for every pressure plate, they close one of the other ones. So that is why it's important to be specific about the order. It is worth noting too, that the plates toggle, they don't just close, meaning they go back and forth between opening and closing. So use this fact to your advantage, as well as the chamber in the rightmost part of the room. To solve this room. This room demonstrates a simple technique of using an evil eye to block the other monsters instead of just killing it straight away. This room is a little more complicated, but it's still basically traditional evil eye game. You also have to be particular 
about where you step. Because, for example, if you did not step on the pressure plate here, there would be no way to walk through here, as the evil eye would see you and end up in the arrow trap. This drum is similar to the Mission Impossible movies, where you dodge the lasers, as you do not want to wake up any evil eyes or they will end up in the trap. The exception being the last one, which you um, are forced to wake up anyway. Mm. Mm. But you will see, there is a trap different than the main one, which you are in, where you can still reach him. So that is what you do. And then you basically do the room over again, but this time with roaches approaching. And then finally, you clean up by killing the eyes. This room introduces you to trapdoors, which basically are floors that turn into obstacles after you step off them. Use this to your advantage to make the roaches <laughs> This room is more open-ended and less linear than the previous one, but you still use the game of using trapdoors. <laughs> this room involves luring an evil eye into a trap. This room is basically a more challenging version of the one directly to the right of it, where the trap do not have arrows built into it to make it easy for you. As well as the fact, he will start chasing you as soon as you step in, there's no way around it. So you just have to block him with your sword, as well as with the trap doors. which can be tricky to pull off at first, but is possible. That's why this is a secret and not a mandatory room. In this room, you have to be particular about which evil eyes you look at first. Because most of them are in paths that are inaccessible once you use them once because they are covered in trap doors.
There's also a secret room. Which is mostly independent of the other rooms, and it's not simply a more challenging version of a required room. For this one, it requires you to be strategic about the tunnels, as well as the evil eyes. As you will notice, in the bottom part of the room, if you wake up too many evil eyes at once, there will be no way to kill them, as they will all throw out our evil eyes. Just like the roaches in that chamber in the first level. So you have the vision token as well, to let you know whose line of sight is whose, so you don't accidentally wake up too many at once. But again, this room was completely secret. It was not the reason the blue door didn't want to just go. What we missed was this passageway through a tunnel. Which is just simple, straightforward. <laughs> Involving evil eyes and roaches combined. And you just have to A. Be careful about not waking up too many at once, and B. Use them to block the roaches. Now that the second level is officially complete, I can show you the third level in my next video. See you then. <laughs>